Hi, boys and girls. Um, today we are going to read a book um, that you are going to use a lot over the next few weeks for our reading lessons. Um, so just keep this video handy because we're going to reference this book um, several times throughout um, our reading lessons the next few weeks. Um, it is called, it's actually a learn about the world book. So it's going to tell us facts. Um, it's also an alphabet book to help you learn your letters. So um, this is called The Beetle Alphabet Book by Jerry Pilata. So let's get started. I think you're going to learn a lot of new facts about beetles and bugs. So if you like nonfiction, this book is for you. It says, celebrate. There is nothing on earth as diverse as beetles. We start this alphabet book with the heaviest beetle around. A is for African Goliath beetle. This beetle is almost as large as your hand. In Africa, children often tie strings to those these beetles and play with them as pets. So if you've ever been to the Cincinnati Zoo in the insect house, they do have a Goliath beetle. All right. B is for Bombardier beetle. The Bombardier beetle sprays poison gas to protect itself, but not enough to harm a person. Tiny bugs, teeny frogs, and little lizards shall, should watch out. C, so this is the letter C, is for cucumber beetle. Farmers do not like this cute beetle because it eats tender, young cucumber plants. Its cousins, the potato beetle, the asparagus beetle, and the carrot beetle, are also pests to farmers. D, this is always everyone's favorite. D is for dung beetle. Dung is poop. This beetle rolls balls of animal poop into its nest. It lays eggs in the poop so the babies will have something to eat when they hatch. Dung beetles think poop is delicious. E is for elephant stag beetle. Beetles come in all different shapes. These beetles look like they have antlers. Come on now, behave, stop fighting, or you will be sent to the principal's office. F is for fungus beetle. This beetle needs to go to the beauty shop. It is not slick and shiny like many beetles. It is very difficult to recognize because it is camouflaged. It looks like decaying leaves, the bumpy bark of trees or fungus. G is for giraffe beetle. Wow, what a long neck. The male giraffe beetle uses his unique neck to roll up leaves. The female then lays her eggs in this protected place. Go the hallway. Or go get headphones on. H is for harlequin beetle. Its front legs are so huge. Some people think they are its antenna. Beetles are insects. All insects have six legs. I is for Ips beetle. Most beetles are tiny. See if you can find three Ips beetles on the pine needles. Ips beetles bore holes into trees. They look harmless, but they have been known to wipe out sections of forests. Even though the word bee is inside the word beetle, a bee is not a beetle. A beetle's wings fold inside its back. A bee's wings are also on the outside. Now buzz off, bee. J is for June bug. You can recognize a beetle by the straight line down its back. June bugs usually appear in early summer during the month of June. That's how they got their name. How did you get your name? K. K is for a Kalahari beetle. This beetle lives in the Kalahari Desert, where there is hardly any water. Name a place and beetles probably live there. Mountains, plains, cities, beaches, hot desert, freezing nights, no problem. L is for leaf beetle. This beetle is the same color as the green leaves it eats for dinner. Leaf beetles like to eat weeds and bushes more than trees. Some leaf beetles prefer the leaves of raspberries, strawberries, and grapes. M 
M is for Mexican bean beetle. This beetle is one of the largest ladybugs. It is a myth that the number of spots show how old a ladybug is. Most beetles live less than one year. It is not polite to ask ladybugs her age. Are you looking at me? I said, are you looking at me? I am a spider, not a beetle. I am not even an insect. Spiders have eight legs, not six. Spiders do not have wings. N is for net winged beetle. Beetles have two sets of wings. The hard outer wings are called elytra. In most beetles, the elytra are smooth and shiny. The net winged beetle has rigid elytra that look like netting. O is for oriental beetle. Scientists have discovered almost a million different species of beetles. There are more beetles on earth than any other type of creature. There are also so many that you could probably write a thousand different beetle alphabet books. P is for pie dish beetle. Other beetles have interesting names too. There's the furniture beetle, the drugstore beetle, the mud loving beetle, the death watch beetle, and the puffball beetle. And here's more, the flower beetle, the flower beetle. There's two different types of flower spellings. The snail eating beetle, the engraver beetle, and the ship timber beetle. Wow, great names, great beetles. Q is for quartz plain beetle. This beetle blends in with its environment. It lives in the quartz plains where the rocks are white. R is for rhubarb weevil. A weevil is a type of beetle that has a long snout. The most famous weevil is all of all is the boil weevil, which destroys cotton crops. Weevils are good at drilling holes into seeds, nuts, and fruits. Their teeth are at the end of their snouts. S is for seed beetle. This seed beetle has comb shape has a comb shaped antenna. Look through this book for examples of antenna diversity. You will find the thread type, the flat feather type, the ball at the end of, at the end type, the saw type, and the bead type. T is for tiger beetle. This beetle has huge jaws. Beetle Beetles are biters. Other insects have different types of mouths. Butterflies are snippers, houseflies are spongers, grasshoppers are chewers, bees are lickers, and mosquitoes are bloodsuckers. U is for underwater beetle. This beetle is like the U.S. Navy SEALs. Sea, air, land. The waterway beetle can swim underwater, fly in the sky, and walk on land. Not many creatures can do that. Let's face it, beetles are amazing. La cockera, don't be fooled. Cockroaches are not beetles. Can you see the difference? The wings of a cockroach overlap. Hmm, I didn't know that. V is for violin beetle. Here is another crazy shaped beetle. It looks like a violin. Let's see, if we had a viola, viola beetle, a cello beetle, and two violin beetles, we would have a beetle string quartet. A violin beetle can also be called a guitar beetle. W is for world gig giggies. World, world gigs dance on top of ponds and streams. They look like bumper cars going every which way. World gigs can see above and below the water at the same time. Remember, beetles can fly. If they get tired of one pond, they can just fly over to another. X is for exocytes. A rhinoceros beetle. We found a beetle that begins with X, but it's more fun to just see the beetle guts. Y is for yellow tortoise beetle. Are you ready for some big words? People who study insects and bugs are called endometologists. If they are, if they specialize in beetles, they are called polypotorists. These are big words, and I don't even know them. Maybe you'll be a insect researcher one day when you grow up. Welcome to the land of metallic beetles. Did someone forget some jewelry? On this page, there is a zinc beetle 
metallic beetle, a platinum metallic beetle, a gold metallic beetle, a silver metallic beetle, and a bronze metallic beetle. Z is for the zinc metallic beetle. The engraver beetles were here. They left us a message. It says read. All right, so that was a big long book with lots and lots of big words and lots and lots of facts. So this is a learn about the world book and we're going to be talking about this book over the next few weeks. I hope you enjoyed it.